Hello, family. Uh, I apologize, this didn't come this morning. Um, when in the day may change, but I'm gonna do my best to try to get these out every day. Um, today, I just wanted to chat about authority. I know that there's a lot going on in the world. There's been a lot going on in the world and it has gotten worse in these last two years. And we all uh, know that it's not gonna get better. It's gonna continue to decline. But I want to speak on authority and not the leaders of the world. I'm talking about on your job. Um, and I know that the word tells us that we are supposed to basically respect those in authority. We're supposed to be obedient because God places those that are in authority in those positions. So when we don't obey, we're going against his word. Yes, that is true very true and i paraphrased however when leaders start going against the word of god and doing things that they know is not right we are not supposed to follow them we are supposed to do what is right so if you are in a position and you are dealing with people who one maybe don't know what they're doing or two know exactly what they're doing and they're putting off work on you so that you can do it and then they'll turn around and claim it or they're trying to throw you under the bus for something that's been done in the past um and the reason why they're doing that is because they know that it's only a certain amount of time before you start looking for what it is that was paid for um what was purchased or um an upgrade or whatever the case may be i want to tell you to hold on I want to tell you to stay strong. I want you to know that God knows. Not only does he know, he sees it. And he is the one that gets revenge, not us. And his word tells us that. God is the one who seeks revenge. Again, I am paraphrasing. But those of you who know the word, you know I'm telling the truth. And I wanted to come to you with Psalms 1 because I think it may be helpful. And it reads... Happy are those who do not follow the advice of the wicked or take the path that sinners tread or sit in the seat of scoffers, but their delight is in the law of the Lord and on his law they meditate day and night. They are like trees planted by the streams of water which yield their fruit in its season and their leaves do not wither and all they do they prosper. The wicked are not so, but are like chaff that the wind drives away. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. So, if you have thoughts of doing or saying something in retaliation, don't do it. Let God handle the wicked. It says right there in the word that he's going to deal with them. They will have to answer for what it is that they're done. You stay true to his word. Stay true to what he told you to do. If he brought you into a situation, one, pray to make sure that this is where he put you and ask him what it is he wants you to do. And then listen, get still so that he can tell you what it is that he wants you to do. And don't worry about not being strong enough to handle it because anything, anything, that our God brings us to, he will bring us through it and we'll come through it victorious. We are conquerors family, more than conquerors. And we fight from victory, not for it. So regardless of what it looks like in the natural, regardless of what people are doing, what people are saying, um, how you are feeling, get yourself centered. Go back to what you know is true and that's God's word get still pray on this subject let him speak to you listen let the holy spirit guide you start doing what it is you know to be right and when you come up against that opposition and those walls and those people who are trying to tell you that you're wrong and you shouldn't be doing this you do what is right you push forward you don't have to ruffle feathers but do your due diligence and make sure you are covered.
because we all know folks is dirty and they will try to throw you under the bus. You have your paper trail to cover yourself. You do the things that are right. You ask the Lord for guidance and you sit back and you let him go and make those crooked paths straight, those bumpy roads smooth. Okay? He's got you. He always has you. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He will always be by your side. He girds you up. He goes before you and he's always got your six. So don't worry about people. Just stay true to the word of God. Do what he brought you there to do and keep it moving. I promise you it will work out right. And if you're worried about your job, God's the one that gave it to you. And if you are staying true to what he said, he will put you in a position that's better than the one that you have now. So don't worry about that. Let God be God. You just be obedient and everything will be fine. I love you. Take care of yourself and have a wonderful day. Bye.